What a time to be a Devils fan. They're fresh off back-to-back -back seven goal games and have won four of their last five. On top of that, we're getting closer at seeing right winger Timo Meyer in action. But first, it's the Vegas Gold Knights tonight. Well, Christy Flannery of the Hockey Writers is back with us to talk hashtag Let's Go Devs. Christy, you've got your green on. You're feeling lucky. GM Damn. Tom Fitzgerald must have had his green on all last week because he lucked up and got Timo Meyer. Now, hopefully, we can get some good news and he can get cleared to get back on the ice. But when it comes to Timo, what are your expectations on how he's going to fit into this lineup and how could bringing him in affect Jesper Bratt's contract talks? So, Timo is going to be on one of the top two lines for uh, Lindy Ruff, and honestly, it's a win-win situation because he's either going to be with Nico Heischer, who Timo has familiarity playing with at the international stage, or he's going to be put with Jack Hughes. And just the dynamic of Jack Hughes and Timo Meyer together is just mind-blowing to think about. And the team's top line right now of Tatar, Heischer, and Mercer has been lights out. So I don't necessarily see Lindy Ruff breaking up that line. So I would guess that Timo's Devils career will begin alongside Jack Hughes. And as far as Jesper Bratt goes, Fitzgerald said in an interview with NHL Network that he is working with his agent to get something accomplished. Um, everyone knows that negotiations with this agent haven't been the smoothest in the past. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. I heard you mention Dawson Mercer earlier. Uh, the Devils have won five of the last seven, and Dawson Mercer has scored nine goals and five assists in that seven-game span. How good of a season is this man having, and how much does he add to this team? Dawson adds so much to this lineup, and I think it's kind of funny. When you look back, he had kind of a quiet start to the season. He had three goals in nine games in October and two goals in 14 games in November. What's going on with Dawson is he really was utilized in the team's top nine throughout the season so far, but he has made the most of his opportunity playing alongside Jatar and Heischer, who he says all three of them play a very similar game, and you could just see the chemistry among these three, but Dawson has played himself into this team's young core. That kid's not going anywhere. Oh, he's not going anywhere. That's the greatest thing a player can hear. But let's talk about tonight. It's Devils, Gold Knights. Uh, what do they need to do to beat Vegas? And who do you want to see step up? Put them on the spot. It's not a call out. It's a call up. Who needs so, the ball out tonight? <laughs> so I think the most interesting thing for me with this uh, matchup tonight is who is Lindy Ruff going to choose in net? Banachek had a tough outing against the Colorado Avalanche, so that's my first question. As far as stepping up, there, I think it was 12 or 13 players got on the score sheet in the Devils' last game, and Jack Hughes was not one of them. So I'm curious to see Jack kind of come back, get on the score sheet. I think in his career he has three points in three games versus the Vegas Golden Knights. And as far as their key to winning the game, they have to just minimize their mistake, minimize the giveaways, minimize the turnovers, and they should be able to sneak out a win. Yeah, and they've been some road warriors this year. They're 22-4-3 and three on the road, and they're going into Vegas, who's hot right now. They're 7-1-2 and two since the All-Star break. It's going to be a great one tonight. Christy, good luck. I'd say good luck, but you already got the green on. You got all the luck <laughs> in the world for both of us. Uh, take it easy, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.